Good morning. Good morning in Texas. Now it's still hot. Uh, today, my plan is to uh, teach you the third movement of the 108 move, which is a single whip. Now, single whip is not an easy move. It looks easy, but it's not easy because uh, it requires a lot of uh, mindfulness. Like this, that is a mistake. The hand is staying there. So the whole body is shifted back, but nothing moves. Just shift back. The entire body come back with the hand. And then you rotate on the right foot. And you place it this clock time, which is, that's 1.30, that's 10.30 over there. Uh, okay. And then we pivot. And see my hands still don't move. So the body is rotating. Rotating on the axis. It's very important. Rotating on the axis. There's one as a scientific explanation. Rotating on the axis. So Wuha style has a lot of science concept in here. So from here, sit back, rotate, my hands don't move, and then pivot to nine o'clock. As you can see. My foot is like that. The hand still didn't move. The hand moved relatively with the body. You can see my foot is pointing that direction. My foot is not like that. A lot of time, people doing this, see that I sink and I sink, I bring my hand back and then I turn my body. And I step, still staying in this position and I shift and then I open to single whip and rotate on your right foot. You can see she's rotating your right foot and pivot on the left. As you can see, this is pivot. This is called pivoting. As you can see, the toes are down, the heels are up. Okay. And then she's going to bring it back, sink the body and step and shift. Open and turn. Okay. Right. The momentum comes when you shift forward. The power start accelerating at 50 50. It's like a plane taking off. The plane doesn't take off like that. It goes like this, and a certain momentum, boom, it goes. Tai Chi is the same way. At least Wuhal style is that way. Wuhal style have a lot of movement that show 50 50 to redirect the force. Rotate and pin. Sink. Left leg forward and shift forward to 50 and 50, and then you turn. Again, you check. Everything in the movement has to be, cannot be ignored. Our mind, train of thought, has to go from ta, ta, da, da. You're gonna know ta, ta, da. You're gonna do that. Why? Because we want to mindfully understand how our body moves. We want to love our body. We don't want to casually just move. We want to be very carefully watching it as we go because we want to understand how the body moves through the mind. So when the mind shows that love or the understanding of following of the body or the mind directing the flow, we can get intrinsic value from this kind of movement. You will create a feeling in your body what we call chi, which is in transit energy. And that energy is gonna help you to heal, whether it's mentally or physically or spiritually over the years, because you finally use your mind with the body movement. That's all for today. And we will store this in the disco channel, that way you get to see it. Thank you very much. And I hope you enjoy it. Please practice hard, say hello to us. And we'll continue the next session and we'll inform you. Adios.